So you want to know about Ireland? Complete the web page with the birds in the boxes. Okay, come on. Uh, yeah, uh, look at the first part. Yes, uh, Andrea, about Ireland sports. Okay. The Irish love international sports like soccer and rugby, but they have their very own national sports too. What traditional sport in Ireland is called hurling? Sticks or hurlings are, are used to hit a ball. Uh, it's larger matches, matches are usually 70 long, 70 minute, minutes long. And in how in home beach in our home between two teams, women play a similar sport, which is called Camion. The final match is played every September in Dublin. In Dublin. Okay. The, can you read the the final? The final what? The final match is late. Is mm, no. The final match is held. Hold, held. Okay. Every September. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Held means it takes place. It takes place every September. Okay. Yes. Play. It's uh, uh, between the two teams. Okay. Yes. So you can say uh, matches are usually seven, 70 minutes long. Okay. Are played. Yes. Are played between two teams. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, Diana, come on, music. Okay. Music is a strong tradition in Ireland. A typical music event is called a session. Sessions are performed in pubs, clubs, and homes for musicians and singers get together to play Irish music and information in, in an informal city. That music is sung at a traditional session because the tune and songs are learning by heart. Some of the old, some of the older songs aren't used to some musical accompaniment. Okay, uh, it says some of the oldest songs are are our song, right? Remember, song, song. Our song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, our song, very good. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, is it's called a session. Sessions are performed. Okay. Uh, okay. It says are learned by heart, right? Okay. Now, uh, continue, please, uh, David. With with the uh, with the other one, please. Uh, we, uh, about food. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of Ireland's dishes called Panun is made traditionally on Halloween. It is mixed with potatoes and cabbage, which is served in separate pots. The potatoes are boiled until creamy, and then they are mashed with the cabbage, leeks, milk, spices, and butter and um, bake it in in a pan mm -hmm. and bake in a pan very good bake. Mm -hmm. bake. okay 
So guys, first is surf. Okay, check please. Okay, is served traditionally uh, on Halloween. Okay, and then you say mm -hmm. you know that that is made. Okay, which are boiled. Cabbage and potatoes are boiled, okay, on separate pots. And the potatoes, yes, are smashed, like David mentioned, right? Are smashed. Very good. Okay, now, um, and the last one, creamy, and then they are, they are mixed. Uh huh, excellent. Mixed. Yes, they are mixed. Very good. Okay, so you guys, now, um, what else? Well, look at the other part about you, okay? Answer the questions with true information using simple present passive, okay? So, uh, Marco, please. Okay. Uh, one, two, and three, come on. Okay. Uh, what is for is considered a traditional spot in your country? The answer is, kite uh, uh, flying is considered a traditional sport in South Korea. Number yeah. two, uh -huh. what uh, handicrafts are typical made? The answer, uh, dishes are made like uh, handicrafts in, in my state. Uh, what what was the name? Dishes, dishes, the, the correct dishes. Uh, uh, dish, dish. Uh -huh. Dish, pla platos. Uh -huh. What handicrafts? Uh, uh, okay, handicrafts. The correct. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, okay, okay. Hand yeah, uh -huh. dishes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Este, dishes. The correct dishes are made like handicrafts in my state. Okay. Are a uh, yeah, uh, dishes are uh, are made mm -hmm. uh -huh. or are are typically you can say uh -huh. uh, typically typically made uh, in my state. Mm -hmm. Okay, in my state. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. because handicrafts yeah handicrafts are the dishes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Number number three, please. Okay. Uh, number three, what drinks are uh, traditional served? The answer, the chilate is served like a traditional drink. Exactly, very good, yeah. Traditional drink, very good. Ah, okay. Okay. As, okay, as. As a traditional drink, okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, Marquito, come on, number four. Okay. Uh, La Chitli is played in is played in Mexico. And well, uh, what kind of traditional games yeah. are played? Mm -hmm. And the answer is La Chitli is played in Mexico. The what, sorry? It la chitli. The game of the ball. Uh, can can, can you spell it? Can you spell la, chip, la chipli? Uh, it's a game of the Mayas. Ah, okay, okay. I just play. Ah, okay. Can you, what's the name again? La Chipi. La Chipi. Can you, can you, can you spell it, please? Okay. La, what? T, 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 L, E, A, mm -hmm. C, H, H, T, L, A, E, no, A. I. I. Uh, ah, Flatchley. Flatchley. Oh, 
Ah, yeah, like like the like the yeah the game of of the ball, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what the traditional games are play? Uh, uh, is play in uh, some parts of Mexico, right? Some parts of Mexico. Mm -hmm. the, the Aztecas play with hip with him with his hip. Uh, yeah, with his hip, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, with the hip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know, I know. Yeah, I I've seen the I've seen the 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 games. Yeah, okay. they were very common back then. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, Marquito, number five. What what the special occasions are okay. celebrated? And the uh, okay, the answer is uh, uh, okay. Play of the head is celebrated in Mexico. Uh, the day, day of the dead ah. is celebrated in Mexico. I mean, okay. Celebrated in Mexico. Okay, the day of the dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. The day of the dead. Okay, very good. Now, and number six, Andrea. Okay. Okay. Chilena songs are are sung in Guerrero. Exactly. Very good. Chilena songs are sung in Guerrero. Very good. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you, you guys. Very good. So, okay. Let's move on, you guys, to the next part, to the next lesson, please. And let's see. Uh, where is it? It's here. Student book. Okay. Now, listen up, you guys. Let me start sharing with you here in the book, okay? Okay, here we go, you guys. Page 22, Unit 3, World Cultures. Lesson A, Traditional Things. One, getting started. Okay. So guys, we have Lesson B, Manners, okay? manners building vocabulary and grammar yes so uh here we go you guys page 23 two grammar the simple present passive use the passive when the doer of the action is not known or not important active page 23 three Speaking naturally. Silent syllables. B. Listen to people talk about their cities or regions of the world. Cross out the vowel that is not pronounced in the underlined words. Then read the sentences aloud to a partner. Page 23. 3. Speaking naturally. Silent syllables. B. Listen again. Can you guess which place each person is talking about? Write the number. Okay, you guys. Uh, look. It says, are these statements about manners true in your country? Guys, look at the look at the um, at the different uh, uh, statements. It says, but well, look at lesson B, you guys. First, first you you look at the look at the name of the lesson, right? It says manners. What are manners, you guys? Any ideas? Come on, um, uh, David. 
What do you think <coughs> manners is? Manners. Mm -hmm. Wow. For example, a manners is related to education. Education that, that you receive at home. Okay? Yes? It's like education that you receive at home, right? Those are manners. You can have good manners or bad manners, right? Oh, okay, like values, customs. Okay, yeah, it's related to that. It's related to values and customs. But for example, is what people consider good and bad. Okay, for example, A, hey, biting your nails is a, is a good manner or a bad manner? Bad manner. Bad manner. Okay, and also it's a bad <laughs> habit, right? It's also about the habit, yes? Mm -hmm. So, so uh, okay. Um, so what other other manners do, do you think people have or we have? Biting your nails is one, what else? For example, well, I'll give you, I'll give you an, I'll give you an example, right? Imagine, you are at a, at a party, okay? At a dinner party, yes? The food was delicious, okay? But you are still hungry, okay? Yes? This is like more or less, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a manner, okay? So you are at a party, the food was delicious, but you are still hungry. Should you ask for a second, for a second dish? Yes or no? What, what, what would you do in that situation? Would you I ask think, for a second dish? I think uh, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you feel comfortable asking for more food at a dinner party? Do you feel comfortable? No. I mean, it, yourself, no, right? <laughs> no. Okay, now, okay, so, if you answer A, if your answer is no, that means that 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 situation is a bad manner, okay, to ask for more food. So manners are rules for how to act socially, okay? Yes, how to act socially, yes. Now, so guys, look at the statements, okay? Look at the statements, you guys. And let's see if we consider this. Uh, it says, are these statements about manners true in your country? Yes. For example, number. let's read one on one, okay? Uh, um, Marco, please read number one, two, and three. Okay. Number one, two, and three, okay. Uh, eating food on Sudway or bus is bad manners. Okay, that is... Okay, here in Mexico, is true or false eating food in the bus? In, in Mexico, uh, doesn't import. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, no, the people, uh, uh, because the people is hurry, uh, ah, okay. eating, eating food in the, in the transporter. So, so let's, it's false then? False? Uh -huh. Eating food on the bus it bad, is, is bad manners. It's false then? False, yeah. okay, false. Yes. Yeah. False. <laughs> you think it's- In Mexico <laughs> it's false. <laughs> yes. So, so people, you can, you can go, you can, you can eat your subway, you can eat your, I'm sorry. You, you can eat your, you can eat your, uh, your bolillo or whatever. Sí. In a bus, and there is no problem. Do you think it's okay? Uh -huh. when, yes. when, uh, actually, in a uh, uh, autobus, bus, uh -huh. in the bus, uh -huh. Uh -huh. bus for Acapulco uh, to Mexico City, uh, uh, mm. ah, este, uh, ejecutivo. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ticket ejecutivo, oh, uh -huh. ticket ejecutivo. The, the company has food 
for the uh, travel. Okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, I mean, yes, of course, in that yeah. uh, transportation, yes, you can, you receive food, actually, right? Uh, you receive the yeah. food. The but, people, in public, uh, but in public transportation, look at the picture. Like in public transportation, it's okay? No. <laughs> no, right? No. Yeah, I mean, I mean, when it says bus, it refers to the public transportation. Okay. okay. So it's 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 a bad manner, yes or no? But it's true. It's bad true, manner. right? Bad yeah, manner. it's it's true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, co continue. Okay. You uh, uh, number two. Okay. It's true to cut it line. It's rude to cut in line, yes, sir. true or false? Do you know what is cut in line? Uh, false. False? False. Cut, for example, cut in line, that means that you, you are in a line and then somebody enters. Okay, uh-huh. It's true to cut a line. Uh-huh. Ah, good, good, good. Cut yeah, line. Cut, Por yeah, cut line. Okay. Line. Ah, yes. no, it's, it's true. It's true. Yes. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Cut. Cut it yeah, line. Cut, yeah, you, you cut in I, line. I think right? it's root. I think it's root uh, in line. <laughs> cut. Okay, cut. Exactly. It's true. Yes. Imagine okay. you, are a, you are in the bank. You are in the bank, and then another person. Wow. But in line, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now number three. Number three. Okay. You should try to keep your voice down in public. That's false, right? I think that's false. Uh -huh. False. I mean, yeah. Okay. All right, then, Diana, continue. Four, five, and six. Okay. You can offend someone. By not bowing or shaking hands when you need, when you meet. Okay, you can offend someone, yes or no? <laughs> True or false? By not bowing, bowing, hey, bowing, uh, bowing means like like Chinese people, like they do this bowing. This is bowing, yes. All right, or shaking hands. So can you offend someone if you don't shake their hands <coughs> when you meet? True or false? What do you think? Mm. Well, maybe. Well, it will. It will, it will depends, right? Yes. Yeah. It will depend on the on the situation. If you are in a hurry, well. So let let's say let's say let's say false, right? <laughs> Diana for <went> true. <laughs> okay. People might stare stare at you for walking around barefoot. People might stare. Stare means like looking at you. Looking at you for walking around barefoot. Bare, look at the picture. Look at the picture. Is that a, is that a, a, a um, true or false? It's true. true, right? True. Yes. True. Yeah. True. Very good. Uh, yeah, Diana, continue. Having an argument in public is considered bad manners. True, right? Yes. Having an true. argument. Yeah. Continue, Diana, please. It's impolite to walk into someone's home without taking off your shoes. Mm. Well, Maybe here in Mexico, uh -huh, that's another culture, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Andrea, continue. Okay. Showing Affection in public, holding hands or kissing is inappropriately. Inappropriate. 
Mm -hmm. So showing affection is inappropriate, true or false? False. False. Okay, very good. Next. Continue, Andrea, please. You should try not to stand too close to people. It's considered rude. That is? It's false. No. Oh, okay. Uh, true. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's true, right? It's true. Because imagine you are, I mean, you are in, in the bank and somebody is very close to you like this. No, right? Uh, yeah. no. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Marquito, continue, please. Okay. Okay. Uh... Wait, wait a second. Okay. Number 10. You, you it's acceptable to type uh, reverse? Not to type cab drivers. It's, okay. It's, okay. It's true? It's, it's, it's acceptable not to type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true because when you when you go to the taxi, mm -hmm. when the when the taxi takes you to your house, you don't give him extra money, right? You don't give oh, him. No. Of course not. All you so, pay for the service. Exactly, you pay for your service. Exactly, very good. Yeah. Yes. Continue, Marquito, please. Eleven. Okay, you should be be careful. Uh, not be careful not to point at people. Oh. Imagine pointing at people. Uh, yes, it's true. yes, it's true, right? It's true. Mm -hmm. And number uh, twelve, Marquito. Uh, it's going to marry to bargain with a street vendor to get something cheaper, but it's not acceptable to do this in a store. <laughs> when, when we go to the market, it, right? It's true. It's true, right? Yeah, it's true. There you go. Okay. So, you guys, so look at all of these. Though all of these things are related to manners, okay? They are related to manners. So, okay. Now, um, all right. Let's everybody go ahead and... I want you to look at the, um, where is it? Here. Yeah, wait a second, please. Here we go. Now look at, the, look at the next exercise, you guys. Okay. What behaviors are considered acceptable in your country? Okay. What behaviors are considered acceptable in your country? Complete the list with ideas from above and add others and then compare, okay? Yes? So, for example, do, okay? What, what are acceptable and what are, and what are not acceptable? For example, take your shoes off in the house, right? Stand too close, okay? So, come on, um, do, Diana, which of the activities here you are considered acceptable in Mexico? Um, showing affection. Okay, showing affection. What else? Okay. Other? Ah, uh -huh, yeah, can you give me another one, please? Okay. Uh, keep your voice down in public. Keep your voice down in public. You should try to keep your voice down in public. Uh, okay. All right. Now, uh, all right, uh, David, what are things, the things that are not acceptable? Um, <clears throat> it's not acceptable 
laugh in the in in public. Uh, laugh in public. Mm -hmm. Laugh, let's say out loud, no? Or laugh out loud? Yeah, okay. Out loud in public. Okay, excellent. Um, for example, guys, uh, to talk, to talk loud in movies, what do you think? Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. So, oh, or in the church? In movies, aha. Uh -huh. Church? Uh, yeah, uh, church. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Very good. Uh, movies, church. Okay, now, what about, hey, what about um, interrupt another person when you're speaking? Uh, yes or no? <laughs> yes, it's a bad manner. Yeah, well, usually kids do that, right? Yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, when speaking, when speaking, uh, yeah, when speaking, right? Yes, very good. Now, for example, another thing that I have seen is that people, for example, when you are in the, in the transportation, the man or the woman stand up and gives the seat to another person, yes or no? Oh, yes. Yeah, give your, give your seat uh, to an, I don't know, and uh, to, a, to an er, um, elderly person, or pregnant, right? Usually, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, those are considered, you know, good good manners. Okay. Yes. Okay. For example, what, guys, what about cell phones? What happened with cell phones? When uh, you okay. are, uh huh. Mm. For example, uh, what happened with cell phones? For example, when you are when you're in the movies, when you are in the re in a restaurant, right? Okay. Don't don't respond cell phone in class. Ah, exactly. Yes. Or Do don't not use. Answer. Mm -hmm. Don't no, use the cell phone. Uh, don't answer the cell phone in, in class. For example. In class. Okay. Excellent. Well, that is a don't. That is a don't. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, for example. What about a? Hey, what about on time in your meetings? B. On time, right? You have to be on time for a, a meetings or appointments. Okay. Yes. For example, hey, I I arrived in five minutes. No, it's ten or fifteen minutes. Yes or no? <laughs> well, when when people say, "Come on, I'm waiting for you," no. Uh, give me five minutes, and those five minutes, then it becomes 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then it's a bad manner, okay? Yes? Okay, you guys, very good. Now, listen up. Here, uh, here we have a, the next exercise, okay? Yes? Look at the, look at the exercise, guys. Um, uh, where is it? Okay, now, here guys, before we go to the exercise, a, look at ex, a, a statement number one, yes? A statement number one. Um, can you read it please, Diana? Okay, eating food on subway or bus is bad news. Okay, now guys, in this sentence, what is the subject of the sentence? What is the subject? What are we talking about? Uh, talking about food. Okay, excellent. You are talking about, yeah, you're talking about eating food. Yes? So eating food is the subject, okay? So eating food is the subject, okay? And the verb, what, what, what is the verb? Eating. No, 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 no. 
Eating food is the subject. Yes? Is the subject. But what's the verb? On? On? No. On is a preposition. Is the verb be. be. Exactly. Is. It's the verb be. Is. Mm -hmm. Eating food on a subway or bus is bad manners. Okay? So, guys, here... Today, we're going to talk about subjects, subjects that include, that include the ing, okay? Yes, ing, subjects, okay? Very good. Okay, so, um, okay, now, I want you now to look uh, at the statement number five, okay? Look at number five. Can you read it, Diana, again? Okay, number five? Yes. People might stare at you for walking around barefoot. Okay, yes. So, uh, I want you to, to look at the, um, I want you to look at the, at, at the word. What kind of word does walking follow? Okay. It says, here, here we have the word for, right? For, and then we have ing. Um, it's not for walk, it's for walking, okay? Yes? So when you use for, right? Now, what about this? Hey, look at, at the negative. Oops, well, look at, at the negative. Not. Look at the negative not. After not, what do we have? Also, a verb in ing. In ing okay? By not bowing or shaking hands. Okay? Yes, shaking hands. All right? So, um, now, in number two, guys, in number two, What's the subject of the sentence in number two? Can you read Diana, please? Number two? Yes. Rude to put in line. Exactly. What is, what is the, the subject? It's. It's. Exactly. So we have, we have a, the expression, we have the expression it, it's, plus plus adjective, okay? It's plus adjective, all right? Now, for example, guys, and, okay, now, in number six, come on, what's the subject in number six? Uh, is. Is. No. Uh -huh. What's the subject in number, in number six? Argument in public is considered bad manner. Argument. Uh -huh. Exactly. Having an argument in number eight. What's the subject? Showing affection. Showing affection. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, look at look at the others here. When we guys, when we you when we start a sentence, we start with a subject, and in this case, we're gonna start a subject with ing. Okay, having an argument is the subject. Yes, showing affection is the sub a subject, and eating is the subject. Okay, yes. Now, after a after after a. a um, after uh, the after two or the infinitive, we use the verb with uh, a base verb. For example, to extend, to tip. So in these cases, we don't use the ing. We use the to and the base verb. Okay, to bargain. Okay, look at this. To bargain. Yes, to extend, to tip. So when we have the two, we have only the verb. When we it's at the beginning, we use the ing, okay? All right? 
And when we have negatives like this, not, we use the ing, not bowing, uh, not bowing or shaking. Okay. So, guys, now taking all of this, look at exercise C. Yes. Can you complete the sentences using two plus verb or verb plus ing? Compare. For example, it says in line is bad manners. Okay. So what's the verb? What's the subject that is missing here? Um, it's rude to put in line. But remember, it's the subject. Yes. How how are we gonna start the, the, the subject? And it's similar, and it's similar to it's number very two. It's similar to number two, but in this case, we start with a subject. Okay, because here, A, here we have the verb B. You cannot say it's rude. No, because it will be repeated. It yeah. will be repeated. So what's missing here, guys? Okay, what's, what's the action in, in, number, uh, in number two? Okay. Good. Exactly, okay. good. Yes, okay. very good. Very good. Okay. In life is bad manners. Exactly. Cutting, cutting. Cutting. cutting in line is bad manners, okay? okay? So, now cutting is the subject, yes? Cutting is the subject. Cutting in line is bad manners, okay? Now, what about number two? Look at, look at number, at number four. We have the word by. And look what type of verb do we use? You can offend people by what? By not bowing or shaking hands. By not showing affection in public. By showing, okay, exactly. By showing, by showing affection in public, okay? By showing affection in public. What about number three? Include not bowing. Huh? It's root not bowing. Okay, but in this case we have, yeah, we have a negative, okay? Look at number nine. Look at the expression, not to, okay? Not to extend, yes? This food not bow. Not to bow. Not to bow, <laughs> yes. It's rude not to bow to bow or shake hands when you meet people, okay? Now, when you say the expression, it's rude, it's rude not to, okay? It's rude not to bow in this case or shake hands, okay? Now, guys, so if we have a, look, if it's at the beginning, we use the ing form, okay? When we use by, we use the ing, okay? And when we have the, the expression it's, for example, it's rude, it's bad, not to bow, okay? You say not to bow or shake hands, okay? Now, all of this, this topic is related to the next grammar point, yes? Look at the grammar plus ing and two, 
plus verb and position of not. Yes. So first, look at the uh, ing. Okay, the ing is, is subjects. Okay, so we can we can you know talk about as a subject or as a preposition. Yes. So, uh, uh, Marco, can you please help me with the first part here? Okay. Here. Okay. Uh, no shocking. Yeah, eating. Okay. In public is bad manners. No shocking hands is impolite. Exactly. Very okay. good. Continue, please. Uh, okay. You can you can offend people by eating in public. People may may store. Uh, a star and your a stair for not uh, for not shaking hands. Okay. okay, it's bad manners to eat in public. It's impolite not to shake hands. Okay, excellent. So here, guys, in this part we have the ing section. Okay, yes. Now, remember that we again we can use. Uh, as a subject, eating, or in negative, not shaking. You can put a subject in negative, okay? For example, not shaking hands is simple life, all right? Um, and, all, and here in the second part, yes, we introduce the word by, by eating or for not shaking, yes? So when we have the word not, we have to use the ing, but when we use the expression it's, we have to use infinitive to and the verb, okay? For example, it's bad manners to eat, okay? It's bad manners to speak in public, okay? It's impolite not to shake. So when you see the expression it's, you will have to use to, to eat, to shake. Okay, uh, to and the verb in, uh, in, in, in base form, okay? Now, position of not, Diana, please. Position of not, not come before the word in negatives. Be careful not to point at people. You can often people by not going. Not is okay. a different in meetings. It's acceptable not to tip have rice optional. It's not acceptable to tip cups drivers. You shouldn't do it. Okay, very good. So, for example, look here in the first. It says not comes before the word it negates. Okay? For example, be careful not to point at people. Okay? Yes? Be careful not a, a throw the trash on the streets, okay? Now, you can say not also with the word by, by not bowing, okay? By not bowing. So here we have, you can offend people by bowing or by not bowing, okay? So now, and look at the difference, you guys, in meaning, yes? It's acceptable, it's acceptable not to tip. So this is optional, okay? If you say the not here, okay, it's optional. That means that what you say, people whether do it or not, okay? Now, in the second one, you shouldn't do it, okay? It's not acceptable, yes? It's not acceptable to tip cab drivers, okay? Uh, uh, okay, now you guys, here in letter A, we have to complete the sentences, okay? By visiting someone's home with either verb plus ing or two plus verb, okay? For example, look at number one, you guys, yes? Look at number one. 
it's impolite to go to a friend's home for dinner without, and then you say, and then look at the verb. We have the verb bring, okay? We have the verb bring, yes? So it's impolite to go to a friend's home for dinner without bringing or to bring. What do you think? I think it's bringing. With, without no. bringing, exactly, yes? Without bringing a gift, okay? Yes? Now, what about number two? Is the subject, remember, is the subject. Arriving a little late is acceptable. Arriving. Excellent, very good, okay? Now, okay, so what I want you to do, guys, is go ahead. I will give you some time for you to do uh, the rest of the exercise, okay? Check the chart, please, all right? Go ahead. Hi, 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 teacher. Hi, everybody. Hello, again, guys. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. teacher. The battery of the of the laptop is was dead. Oh my God! Well, it's good you're back. Okay, <laughs> good. Go ahead, please. We are we are on exercise A. Please, we have the examples number one and number two. Okay. Go ahead, you guys.
finish. Okay. All right. Okay, you guys, let's check right quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Diana, can you help me read number three? Okay. It's not a good idea to invite a friend with an asking the host. Uh, okay, okay, one more time, please. It's not a good idea, idea to invite a friend, we can ask the horse. Exactly, very good. It's a good idea to invite. Mm -hmm. Thank you, very good. Yes, David, number four. It's polite to compliment the horse cooking. Exactly, compliment, very good, thank you. Marco. Mm -hmm. Thank Number you. five. If you don't like something your hot service, it's best not not to say anything and leave it. Exactly. Very good. Not to say anything and leave it. Very good. Okay. Now look at number five. Yeah, Andrea, come on. Okay, it's good to marry. Mm. It's 
Not to ask for a thing. For a second helping of food. Exactly. It's because remember when it when it starts with its, you use to. In this case is negative, not to. Okay? Very okay. good. Thank you. Marquito, number seven. Come on. Okay. Talking with your mouth full is considered root. Exactly. And it's acceptable uh, not to finish the food on your plate. Okay. It's acceptable not to to exactly. finish. To finish, I mean. Exactly, very good, yes. Not to finish. Okay, very good. Diana, number nine. There is the microphone. Okay. okay. Taking a call on your cell phone during dinner is bad manners. Okay. And David, the last one. You can upset your host by not leaving until it's very late. Okay, exactly. But not leaving. Okay. Leaving. Uh, until it's very late. Okay, you guys, thank you, very good. Okay, now, uh, I think now we have a more clear idea on what to use infinitives and ing, gerunds, okay? So, uh, okay, you guys, now, I guess, look, we're, we're gonna stop here, okay? We're gonna stop here. Uh, in order for us to practice a little bit more, we're gonna go to the workbook, okay? Which is page? 20 and 21, I think. Exactly, 20 and 21, okay? So there are a series of exercises for you to do, okay? And uh, what well, you guys, uh, I will see you guys next weekend. Monday, right? Yes. Uh, have a nice weekend, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yes. See, you. Care, guys. See, you. See, you, see you, teachers. 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 See